Hey guys and welcome back to another video. If you're searching for a really strong strategy and at the same time you want to have easier and chill time, then you're in this video exactly right. Because today we want to talk about the Dragon and Zap army. I showcased already many different Dragon armies, like Dragbat is I guess the most popular one, but on the other hand I already showcased like Drag Clone for example, where you're adding like an Electro Dragon with a clone spell and everything. But this army is freaking crazy. I will show you guys a couple of attacks today on how you guys can climb easily in Legend League, how you guys can easily smash in, in any competition, like if it's a clan war, if it's a clan war league, or even any other tournaments whatsoever. Learning this strategy is really nice because it's crazy strong right now and I will explain exactly on what you guys need to watch out for and what you guys need to do to get those triples in. If you guys like what I'm doing on this channel and if you guys would like to support me, there's an easy way to do so. Get in your settings, in more settings at the bottom you can find the creator code. But when exactly is this creator code coming in and when exactly are you supporting a creator? When you're buying any of the offers, when you're buying uh, for example the, the gold pads or other things or gems, if you're spending any money on the game, then you're supporting a creator with putting the code in. Make sure to support the creator which you guys like the most and was well, just a huge help for us as a creator um, for Clash of Clans. So thank you so much. And always remember, those creator codes are Supercell creator codes, which means they're working for any Supercell game. Brawl Clash Royale, and so on. But now let's get into the first attack. And the first thing is always when you're doing attacks like this, and not like yesterday where we zapped the town hall, uh, the, the clan castle, sorry. Try to avoid the clan castle with your heroes. So what we're doing over here, I try to find a nice spot where we can actually get value. You're looking for outside air defenses and you're up looking for value regarding uh, buildings like Inferno Towers, maybe even an enemy hero. So what we're going for on this one is I try to get rid of the top side air defense and I'm trying to get into the compartment into the single Inferno Tower. What this does is first off the obvious things, we're getting two air defenses and the um, any royal champion and the single firm tower of the way that's kind of nice but what this does as, as well it kind of interrupts this ring like you guys can see the tunnels in the middle kind of isolated which means if you're not doing anything about that nothing will actually path through the town hall and that's something which we're going for so this means we're trying to get rid of the left on the, on the right side um, compartment and now we can get started with our dragons then you have over five zap spells with you in your army composition. Two of those zap spells are for the air sweepers. Like you can zap whatever air sweeper you would like to, just zap one of the air sweepers and you normally have a really nice time getting into the base. The next three zap spells are normally for using them for an air defense. Normally you can combine that with like an archer tower if it's next to it or anything else. It's pretty nice of a value. You can see at the top side we zap the top side air defense and that's pretty nice for us, for our dragons. The next thing which is super important is, you guys can see, I'm raging the outside group of dragons. What this does, is it forces the right side, like the right group of dragons into the core, which means you do not always need to create the pathing with your dragons, um, with your heroes, but with the dragons itself and with the spells, and that's really important. You have overall a couple of spells with you, five zap spells, and then, um, like two freezes and two rages, but or I think three rages, sorry, but still one thing which is important You need to place those spells really well and the timing needs to be perfect Otherwise you might run out of juice in the end and one thing which this army is really really struggling is time So you need to be really quick on thinking and transitioning from your Sui part like your hero part in the beginning into your dragon power and this attack is not looking too bad. The only thing which could make this attack go wrong is the uh, is the Inferno Tower. This Inferno Tower, if this Inferno Tower keeps staying, this could be a defense, but it looks like as our dragons should go through the um, storages and through the Inferno Tower, and this should be a triple. We po uh, placed the uh, Archer on the top side early on into the attack, just to make sure that we're getting a little bit of HP of this storage away. But this should be a triple, and this should be the first triple in our series for today. And you guys saw 
what you should go for with your heroes and then with the dragons trying to zap the sweeper. We went in from the bottom because we did want to take care of the eagle kind of quickly. That was the reason why we went in from the bottom. And yeah, I think I will just show it to you guys the next attack as well because we have still plenty of attacks to go through. I will explain it every single time for you guys how you guys on different bases can make work with your heroes and then work to send in the dragons. So let's get into the next attack and let's one more time explain for you guys where to exactly drop which troop. On this base, this is more like one of the classic teaser bases on a three star basis. Let's put it like this. Um, not like the other base where it was a ring base. So on this one, we have it um, like a different scenario. We have a couple of options. Like I said, you want to go for pathing, value, and once again, you want to avoid the enemy clan castle. The clan castle on this one is really far on the top side. So what we try to go for is I try to go for the bottom side. What I try to go for is first off the enemy queen. That's why I try to get my king onto the right side. And then I try to go for the town hall and one air defense, either right or left. I don't care at this point. So that's what we're going for. I score him in front, queen in behind with our king, Babylon on the right side, just to make sure that we're getting the front and right and our heroes are actually going into the base. Now king ability, king is trying to beat the enemy queen. Now everything is getting soaked into the tornado trap. Skeletons are popping up, but so far everything is looking pretty good for us. So. The queen should be able to take care of the town hall and then we save the royal champion. Do not overcommit with the royal champion. You always want to have the royal champion either in your hero sui in the beginning or on the back and something like that. On this one, there was no really use for me for the, for the royal champion to place her anywhere. That's why I didn't do it. Now the queen is going to the left. This is why I know, okay, queen is going to the left. This means the left air defense is taken out. I want to get as fast as possible into the right air defense because this means we do not have to zap it. Back end air defenses are always a bad thing. If you can go into air defenses kind of quickly, that's always better for dragons because you can use the spells nice and early and this is giving you really nice boost into the base. Next thing what we're doing, we're sending in the slammer from the right side and now we have to think about what exactly are we zapping. We're going to zap the left air defense in combination with the um, archer tower. I think I could have zapped the other, other archer tower as well, but I wasn't sure 100%. Um, I think I could have done that. Now we're, we have to wait on the clan castle getting taken out. Then we can get started with the royal champion as well, because once again, we do not want to lure anything like an ice golem or lava hound from the clan castle. And this is looking crazy good for us. Obviously there were four ground expos, but in the current meta, I will show you guys in the end the trophy range where I'm at, but I'm around 5.5k trophies, which isn't too low to be honest. So in this trophy range, you can find a lot of air expo, uh, a lot of ground expos, because still Yeti Smash, Super Witches are still the, the main threat to bases and the main armies which are getting used. So you can abuse that easily with just using air armies. And you can see this was a pretty big overkill. Our Royal Champion is still alive. Um, plenty of, of dragons are still alive. And this time we have nearly 30 seconds still left. Another option which you might want to bring in, which I just draw into your screen, is a siege barracks. That's sometimes really nice if you can make sure that it's out of the range of the clan castle, but that's really nice for funneling sometimes if you do not have the king anymore. But I think let's talk about the next base because that's another style of base and I want to show you guys as many style of bases as possible. And this one is going to be a teaser base. So kind of tricky. This time the, the clan castle is really close to the town hall, so this time we cannot go for the town hall with our heroes. This time we're looking for as many air defenses as possible. So what we can do on this one is we could try to go for the 3 o'clock, 2 air defenses, but I'm greedy. I'm greedy, I want to go for as many air defenses as possible. And this is why I'm starting at the bottom and let my heroes kind of walk to the 3 o'clock side. What this does is I have access to the first um, air defense over here next to the royal champion and I can take care of the royal champion as well which is always a nice thing if you can take care of the queen or of the enemy royal champion that's always nice because there are always threats to your um, dragons and now we try to war breaking on the right side as well because well guys maybe I'm going even more greedy mode because maybe we could take care of the eagle that would be super awesome now the royal champion ability trying to take care even more of the rest of the base the scatter shot is really closely 
staying alive, which is kind of unlucky for me at this point, but still I'm trying to keep going. And now the queen is supposed to take care of both air defenses and if possible, the enemy, uh, the enemy eagle. But at the moment, it's not looking too good for me, to be honest. I still have my uh, all of my zaps. I'm using now two first zaps for the sweepers. And this means I can choose where I want to enter. First thing, I could go into the eagle first, but that's then the, uh, the tunnel is like really far back and that's not a good thing. So what I do instead, I decide, okay, I see the air defense is going to take uh, been taken out on the right side. Now I just get started into the tunnel with the dragon. That's it, just spam everything in, loons in front. And now what I'm doing is I'm using the slammer on the back end. I'm using the slammer for the eagle because the eagle is otherwise way too long alive. Now I'm using a lot of spells to get into the base. Two rages overall and then freezing the enemy queen and the enemy tunnel together. Then the warden ability because the warden is following really nicely. And now the rest of my resources spell wise I put into the blimp or like into the slammer just to make sure that I'm getting the back end. I want to make sure that my dragons are not getting hit by anything which is on the other side of the base. For example the, um, the scatter shots and so on. And I wanted to have the dragon cleaning up on the other side because we started the dragon super late. Now you guys can see 50 seconds left and this is looking like one of the biggest overkills in this video and this should be an easy freaking triple if the time is not running out. Like I said we started really late with the dragons and that's something which you always need to keep in mind. Dragons are freaking slow. Always remember that try to be as fast with the transition. On this one I had to I think really like intensively where I wanted to get started with my dragons because I didn't really start uh, started with that in the beginning. I started with my heroes, tried to see where exactly are they going and what is happening and then thought about where to start off with my dragons. But um, well, that uh, was a little bit strange, like time in intense because uh, I had no plans for my dragons just yet. And as you guys can see, we're barely about 5.5k trophies, which means those bases they should be kind of decent, like not the best obviously, but not the worst either. So this is how you can really easily abuse right now the dragon and zap army. It's crazy strong and the nice thing about this army is it's powerful, it's really strong like I said, but at the same time it's really easy to execute. As soon as you have your like attention to where exactly you can start with your dragons and where exactly you can start with your heroes, as soon as you have figured that out, the execution part is really easy on this strategy, so everyone can do the strategy. So if you guys, like I said in the beginning of the, this video, if you are searching for a strategy which is strong and easy, this is your strategy. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow. Until then, see ya and bye bye.